Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Tutorialini Test Prep. Today we'll be going over lesson number 10 on how to use Desmos for the digital SAT math. Equivalent expressions, guess and check by graphing. Let's get started. So, uh, oftentimes you'll see questions like this on the digital SAT where it says, which expression is equivalent? So we call that an equivalent expressions question. So, a quick way that you can do these using Desmos without knowing how to solve it is you can plot the expression in the question and then plot the expression in each of the answer choices and visually inspect to see which one is the same. So first I'm gonna go over to Desmos and I'm gonna type in, you don't have to put the y equals, but, but I always like to do that. 9x squared plus 5x. And now I'm gonna type in each of these answer choices. And when I get to one that exactly replaces the red graph, that means it's the same and that means it's my answer. So uh, let's try answer choice A, x, 9x plus five. Oh, let's see, we got kind of lucky. A is the correct answer. So on the actual test, you could just stop at that point. But um, I'm gonna keep going because I just wanna illustrate to you guys that the other ones are for sure wrong. So let's do y equals 5x, 9x plus one. And you see, oh, that does not replace the red graph, so that must be wrong. And let's do 9x, x plus five. And we see that also does not replace the original red graph, so that is also wrong. And let's do answer choice D. So that would be x squared, 9x plus 5. And that does not, also does not replace the original red graph, so that one's wrong too. Okay, let's try another one. Let's move on to question two. So the answer for that one is A. And again, just to reiterate, that's because when I turn on the graph for answer choice A, it completely replaces the graph of the original expression. So you can click click the uh, answer choice A on and off to kind of prove to yourself that it's replacing it, and you can see it change color. Great, let's move on to question two. Okay, so for this one, it says the expression 24, over 6x plus 42 is equivalent to 4 over x plus b. So I'm just going to type that in, 4 over x plus b. And now all we have to do is, is we can kind of guess and check each value for b. So let's try 7. And we see, oh, look, again, it perfectly replaces that red graph. So that means that's our answer. But let's again, just for the sake of the video, let's go through and prove to ourselves that the other answer choices are wrong. So let's do 10. And you see the, the blue graph does not replace the red graph, so that is wrong. And let's try 24. And again, we see the, the blue graph uh, does not replace the red graph, so that is wrong. And let's try B equals 252. And again, we also see that the blue graph does not replace the red graph. So that one's wrong too. And again, we can go back and one final time, just check by putting in B equals seven. And we see that the blue graph perfectly replaces the red graph. So that means they're equivalent expressions. And that's my answer. So eight is A. Let's do one more. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna do the original expression four over four X minus five, and then minus one over X plus one. And I am now going to guess and check each answer, each answer choice. So let's do one over X plus one, four X minus five. And we see that the blue does not the window on my graph is kind of poor here because of how small my window is, but you can see that the blue does not replace the red. 
So that means A is wrong. Let's try 3 over 3x minus 6. Okay, once again, the blue does not replace the red, so that one is wrong. Let's try negative 1 over x plus 1 or x minus 5. Once again, the blue does not replace the red, so this one is wrong. So it's looking like C is our answer. Let's just confirm that by plotting it. So we're going to do 9 over x plus 1 for x minus 5. Uh, once again, the blue perfectly replaces the red. That means they are equivalent expressions, and that's our answer. So the answer to number 3 is D. So you probably don't want this to be your first plan of attack, but you see for harder questions, maybe like this last one, this is a good backup option if you're not sure what to do or maybe if you're low on time or something like that. So this could be a really helpful tool to keep in your back pocket to pull out when necessary on the digital SAT. Okay, that completes the lesson. Please like and subscribe for more digital SAT math content. If you are interested in my tutoring services, the link to my website will be in the description. I tutor all sections of the SAT and all math subjects from about seventh grade to AP slash early college level. Thanks for stopping by and good luck studying.